It's my own personal goal to be able to be greater than great. I think I should be everybody, it's, that it should be everyone's personal goal. He's the greatest and that's who you look at. So that's always been my personal goal to use the motivation he gave me as a kid and I'll use it as motivation now as well that I want to get where he is. That's never changed. People kind of wanted to turn it into a conversation but that's my personal goal and that's where I land at. Skip, Joy. why does LeBron keep bringing this up? <sighs> I have my theory, <laughs> but this drives me the craziest of any topic in all of sports. And I want to be very clear about this. I did not jump out of bed this morning wanting to talk about this topic. LeBron James forced me once again to talk about this topic. He forced LeBron me. will not let this go. He brings it up again and again and again and again. So I cannot let this go. I find it offensive disrespectful. I find it downright shameful that LeBron James continues to even bring up Michael Jordan in the same breath with LeBron James, that he continues to talk about his pursuit of LeBron's legacy, how Jordan's he's legacy. chasing, what's that? You, I'm, I'm sorry, Jordan's, yeah. sorry, mm -hmm. how, how he's chasing Michael Jordan's legacy as if he still has a realistic shot of passing that legacy and I don't even want to talk about the fact that LeBron is now three and four in NBA Finals. Michael Jordan was merely six and zero oh with six MVPs in the Finals. I don't even want to talk about that. I, look, th this is, I, I want to be very clear. LeBron James is clearly an all-time great talent. If you want to put him in the top five, top seven, whatever you want to put him, I'm okay with that. But this is all time delusional to me because this game was over a long, long time ago. LeBron James disqualified himself twice in a row in his last playoff series in Cleveland against Boston and in his first NBA Finals, you'll remember this well, in Miami versus Dallas. Do you remember those two? I remember. Do you remember what happened in games four, five, and six against the Boston Celtics? His final go around as a Cleveland Cavalier. He disappeared in ways I've never seen a superstar disappear to the point that some members of his entourage whispered in the ears of media members that somehow LeBron was sedated in that series because of a personal issue he was going through off the court that involved his basketball team and his mother. Do you remember this? I remember. And I'm like, what? That's why he disappeared in games four, five, and six as they collapsed against those Celtics? Then fast forward to the first go round with the Miami Heat, the big three versus the Dallas Mavericks. They were big favorites in that series. They go up two games to one, and the chosen one turned into the frozen one in ways I have never seen a superstar shrink on the national stage. Inexplicably, LeBron just couldn't play anymore in games four, five, and six. Here we went again. And I said, I've never seen a mentally weaker superstar in the history of in all my time of watching sports. And yet he, he obviously redeemed himself somewhat because they broke through the next year against Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook and the young Oklahoma City Thunder. And he's had his moments. He's won three, he's lost four. But I ask you, did Michael Jordan ever disappear in any round of the playoffs, even when he was trying to fight through the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons and Larry Bird's Boston Celtics? Did he ever just disappear? Did anybody ever say, boy, Michael Jordan had a bad series against the Celtics? Nobody ever said that. Then LeBron in 2014, after the greatest clutch shot I've ever seen in the history of the world by Ray Allen that saved LeBron's legacy in 2013, in 2014, my San Antonio Spurs blew LeBron James' heat off the floor by a record finals margin. And I ask you, Shannon Sharp, did Michael Jordan ever get blown off the floor, his team, by any record margin in any round of the playoffs? No. Sorry, LeBron, you're disqualified from even bringing up Michael Jordan. But here's what, may, what makes me crazier than anything. All those blind witnesses out there, blind witnesses who worship LeBron James, you raise your hand. I know you're one of the, <laughs> you're one of the masses. Yes. I was going to include you in that. Okay. They have expunged from LeBron's record all those things. They, they don't count anymore. They're swept under the carpet and into the graveyard as if they never happened. They happened. You can't take them off his legacy. And yet, 
LeBron breaks through again and somehow from three games to one down comes back thanks to the suspension of Draymond Green and the loss of Andrew Bogut in games five and six, uh, uh, six and seven. LeBron pulls off the miracle last year and wins his third ring. And that's it. It's over. Now he's somehow caught Michael Jordan. Th this is like the king's math that we're dealing with here, which is three and four equals six and oh. I, I don't get it, but somehow... LeBron knows that he is preaching to an enormous international choir who will buy this. Oh, yeah, LeBron's even, he's very close or he's passed. And the way I know this is, on the previous show I did, we often went on the road to various places all over this country. And every day I would stay for two hours after the show and talk to all the people who came to the show in some sort of receiving line. I consistently heard from the younger guys and some women Oh, yeah, LeBron's, he, he's better than Michael Jordan. And I would say, well, you mean like eye test wise? If you just want to say, oh, he's bigger and stronger and whatever, whatever you want to say, I, I get that. You can make that case. You could say that maybe LeBron would beat Michael in one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think so, but you can make that case just because he's just too big for mm -hmm. LeBron. I get that part. But when you want to talk about legacy and you want to try to convince me that he's even in the same breath with Michael Jordan, that is incomprehensible and finally just shamefully offensive to me. And I, I, this conversation's over. I think I'm going to leave now. I've, I've had enough of this. But, but I'm going to give you your, your shot. Why does it upset you so much that he strives to be greater than the greatest? How, how can you... What, what grounds do you have to even say you have a chance to pass him? That's my problem. Here's the thing, Skip. Before he said that, we knew what he was chasing. Although he didn't go through the lengths that Kobe Bryant did, Kobe Bryant walked like Michael Jordan. He shot the basketball I'll like Michael that. Jordan. Yep. He had he his tongue he hung he out did. of his mouth like yep. Michael Jordan. The only thing that LeBron did was choose Michael's jersey. Number. He did. But we knew what he was striving to be. If you come into the National Basketball League, the uh, NBA, and you are a non-center, Michael Jordan is what you aspire to be. We know that. Everybody knows that because. 6-0, as you mentioned, 6-0, I mean, all the MVPs, all the finals MVPs, he never went to a game seven. I think LeBron got comfortable once he did what many thought was impossible. He beat a all-time great team, 73-9, and with a two-time MVP. The last time was a unanimous MVP. When he came back from 3-1 and delivered a championship to Cleveland, which had not won a championship in over 50 years, he says... He can exhale. Now I can let the world know what I knew all along. I've been chasing this guy in Chicago who's been retired for over a decade. I've been chasing and chasing and chasing. Now, although, look, Skip, you're dug in, and a lot of people are dug in. There's nothing. He can win the next five NBA finals, but there are a certain population that's dug in and says there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can say that's ever going to move me off my mound that says Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player ever. Nothing. But what he did, Skip, you can't, you can't take anything away from that. He did, come, he did lead his team back from a 3-1 deficit. He lost the finals the previous year. Michael Jordan never played with the second and third best players being out for the series. That's what he did. And he took a 67-15 and 15 team to six games with Matthew Della Vadova as his second best player. He did that, Skip. Mm -hmm. He also did in the finals. He led every player that played in the finals in every statistical category. That's the first time that had ever been done. Skip, it's hard. You can't... It's on his resume. The Boston ser series, that's on his resume. 2011 finals, that's on his resume. That can't be undone. But to say that it's blasphemous and you say you're offended and you're, you, you're appalled that he would even utter the words Michael Jordan and LeBron James in the same sentence, I just don't get it. Because while, although I don't believe he can catch Michael, it's not blasphemous. I, I, I think he can still be a top two, top three player. He is a Mount, for me, I think he's a Mount Rushmore player currently. I think he can go as high as number two, given what, he, given what he's already done. His body of work speaks for itself. But for you to, I mean, it's like, oh, I can't even believe this man would even utter Michael Jordan's name out of his mouth. How can you say that, Skip? I just did, and I will again and again. As long as he says it, I will say it. Why? Because it's, it's not realistic. 
Again, it's the king's math. And when you're talking about three and four versus six and oh, yes. that, that's just offensive to me. How can you, don't ever make that case again. Skip. You're out, you're disqualified. Skip. He beat an, he beat a 73 and nine team from three. That's Michael Jordan, you can say whatever you want. At no point in time has Michael Jordan, be it the first round, the second round, the because the, it used to be, you know, best two out of three, best three out of five. You know, he, so whatever it is, Michael Jordan can never say he came back from a 3-1 deficit. Michael Jordan can never, ever say he beat a transcendent team a 73. As a matter of fact, they broke Michael Jordan's 72-10 and 10 record. Mm -hmm. He beat that team. Michael Jordan can never say he led a playoff series in every statistical category. He can't say that. Michael Jordan's resume is what it is. He's done. He can't add anything else to it. LeBron Jordan's resume is still incomplete. He can add. Some people will say there's nothing that LeBron can do. He can win five more, and that would make him eight and four. That's not good enough for some. And some, the younger generation says, well, hey, I didn't see Michael Jordan play. I'm watching LeBron and what he's, what he's doing. I'm going to give LeBron the nod. 